Hello YouTube Denizens, David Storm here with Picklocks.com and I received this jeweler's saw and uh, I wanted something that was a little more robust and a little more flexible than the the coping saw or uh, hobby saw that I found at a local hardware store. So I ordered this on Amazon. I will put the link down below for it. And so I picked this up. It has several nice features. For example, I can pull open this up and uh, put whatever type of straight blade I want in here and lock it down. And it also has the ability to uh, adjust this and pull this out and in. So let's say this broke right here. I wouldn't be locked into a single size here. I can actually adjust it, bring it down, put the broken end into the, uh, the latch there and continue using this blade until it's completely used up. Now this particular blade is 40 thousandths thick, pretty thick. When you compare it with something that is 10 thousand, like this very thin uh, saw that comes with the uh, a blade that comes with the kit. You get, <clears throat> when you purchase this kit, you get 144 blades. That's what 144 blades look like. They come in little bunder, bundles and they're extremely tiny. They're like hairs. Um, they're, they come in, looks like different sizes. I'm not sure what the size um, denotes on there, but uh, it, it's like uh, one slash zero, two slash zero, three, four, and then one and two. So uh, these measured out at around 10 thousandths, uh, somewhere in here it was like 13 thousandths. So they're pretty thin compared to this one, um, which is actually a, let's see if we can get a close up of some of the teeth on that. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. There we are. Look at those uh, cuts on there. It is a wire saw and it's often used in survival uh, kits to cut down trees and so forth. So we're going to give that a shot and then we're going to try one of these uh, much thinner needle um, blades that we have that came with it. Bring my magnifying glass down and we'll see if we can um, use that in place, give it a little more magnification. One of the things I like about this is uh, with this particular saw is I can lay it sideways like this and I can work it this way. Whereas the other one I have to be straight up and down and go straight in on it. So let's give it a shot. We're already locked into place and uh, we'll fire this up and see what happens. Now we don't want to apply pressure in one area on the saw. If we do that, what's going to happen is it's going to heat that up and it's just going to burn right through it. So we want to keep this moving at all times. We start out light, try to find a spot that we can work on. We'll work on a piece a little closer to the, to the edge or to the spindle. And there it is. It starts to cut. And we just keep it moving like that. Always moving up and down. It's going to increase your the length of um, the amount of time the blade lasts you. If you just hold it on there, first it's not going to cut, and second of all, it's just going to burn right through the blade. So you never want to do that. So as you can see, that's I made a very fast cut on there. So now we're going to take this blade out, and we'll try the other blade. Pull this magnifying glass out. And if you're wondering about some of the other tools that I use, uh, check out my other video. We go over the Dremel and all that on that particular episode. But this one's just focusing on this new, on this new uh, saw that I purchased. So we want to find out where the blade is. It's on the bottom here. So we're going to bring this over, lay it down in here, match it on this side. Just like that, and then this one goes down in there, and we'll lock it down. Just like that. Now let's make sure that, whoop, 
so small it's really hard to get it on the right side so I actually flipped it the wrong way Let's see if I can get that I think that's correct I'll lock it down and test this side first that is correct okay so I'll lay this one down in here lock it down Now one thing I like to do, because this may have, you see that little bit of a wobble, what we'll do is we'll loosen this up and push this out, pull it out a little bit, and then lock it down, and that'll put that blade under tension, and that way it'll tighten it up in the center here so it doesn't want to, it's nice and stiff now, it doesn't want to move up and down. So let's give it a shot and see, uh, see what we can do with this one. I'm going to go ahead and leave the magnifying glass off on this one just because it gives me a little more room. Actually, I might be able to pull it down. Let's see. Yeah, I have enough room. Okay, we'll pull that down and fire this up. Hold on a minute, let me... Uh, Loosen the magnifying glass here and readjust that just a little bit. There we are. That'll keep it out of my way a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, let's fire this up and see how thin this cuts. Now again, we need to do the same up and down motion. Never static, just like that. And look at that nice thin cut on that. That was fast too. That was very quick. All right, so that's gonna be a cut that's about 10 thousandths thick, which is pretty, let me pull this out of the way. Yeah, 10 thousandths thick, which is uh, pretty thin. And let's go ahead and bring this down and take a look at that cut. <clears throat> See how far I can get it away. There we are. Look at that cut. That is really, really small. That is just beautiful. Might have gone a little too deep, but yeah, it's really the first time I've ever used that one. So you kind of get used to it, but that was fast. I didn't realize it was going to cut that quickly. So you could just kind of knock off some of this excess here. And this one is from the other. Oh, look at that. That was so thin that that actually, yeah, just me doing that. Yeah, that's going to come right off there. Look at that. That was so fast through that. So you could certainly use that to cut off the tops of pins if you wanted to. Uh, but man, that was, that was quick. And uh, so in the future, I'll realize not to, not to go that quickly. So, all right. Well, that shows you, though, what, uh, what you can do and how thin you can make that. This one's pretty wide, uh, 40 thousandths. So you could certainly use that for serrations too, uh, or you could almost use it for uh, making something like a gin spool and uh, a place where that would catch into a lip of equal depth on the inside of the plug if this was the, uh, the driver pin to, uh, to hang that up and so forth. So a lot of possibilities with that. I'm really happy with this little saw. And like I say, I will link this in the uh, description below and show you where I got it. And uh, you, there's a UK version on Amazon and also an American version. But uh, I'm very, very happy and pleased with this little, this little saw right here. I think it cost me like maybe 14 to, it was under $20. So for the amount of use I'm going to get out of this, yeah, it's going to pay for itself quite a bit. So... 
Hope you uh, enjoyed that review. If, you, if this helped you out, please hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe for future content. And for picklocks.com, I'm David Storm.